What up, players? It's Wallboss Tay up in this mud. Day two, Project Night Lords, month of June, painting challenge. Let's do it. For all of you players out there, um, this is one of my old Night Lord Space Marines. And um, I didn't finish them. See, I only got like this far, the base coat. And I miss, oh my god, I miss Necron Abyss. It's the old GW Foundation color. Look how awesome it is. One application. Uh, the first application, just one layer. Just to show you the difference, I took the new base color, which is supposed to replace Necron Abyss, and um, it just looks like Regal Blue though, which means that it's lighter, it's not shiny like Necron Abyss was, and it's just, uh, I don't really like it as much, but <sighs> whatever. I um, also thought, well, maybe I'll darken it down by painting some known oil all over, but it just ended up making the whole model look just really poor quality and um, took all the shine out of the gold and it just, just really lame so I don't know I'm not really feeling it but I remember back in the day when I used to do my painting tutorials on the Night Lords and it was like okay Necron Abyss then um, some Captain Brown and shiny gold and all the gold details and then wash it all with with the dab black and then when it comes back it looks awesome and now it's just <sighs> Uh, well, I think it's still gonna look good. This is only like, you know, 50% done, but um, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm just working out the new paint scheme for when I build and paint up all my new Kef's uh, Space Marines. And I, I think it'll be okay. So, what do I have planned today? Well, you might recognize this guy if you've been watching my other videos. I just unboxed him last night. And, um,. I was reading the comments and you know what, yeah, having the bear head, really true evil, I think, and is really seeing how bad you can get when you're when you're a human or even when you're above human like the space marines are. Just like to me, the, the evil part about the space marine, chaos space marines, is that you can see the humanity that was once there. I mean, you can look into their eyes and they're not like some alien race like the Tyranids or um, just a bunch of robots like the Necrons when you can see that they used to be human and they used to be good and they used to be you know all that was noble and awesome and epic about uh, humanity and how it just got all twisted and jacked up I think that's what really draws me to having the open-faced helmets and um, you know never mind the fact that the minute this guy plunges this chain fist into a, a land raider, the sparks are gonna rip his skin off. Uh, that's that's something else. But what are my plans today? Um, I got some unboxings to do for the Chaos Space Marines. It may be the, um, the the frames that come in the battalion box or the battle force box, 40k. I could do the uh, the possessed. I think I'm gonna do the possessed. The possessed Space Marines. I'm gonna do because I plan on. Um, using the possessed space marines to kit bash <laughs> for when I'm building my new space marines. Just to let you guys know, my plan on kit bashing is that um, <clears throat> I, I've been reading a lot of the people who've been commenting on my Project Night Lords introduction and about the possess and how I could use the fluff to help out why they're mutated and stuff. But I think maybe having the possessed armor and maybe helmets and different other pieces to just look like the possessed are. Um, that armor was was uh, was molded and, and shaped and sculpted and um, bent into place by the existing um, night lords to make it look, to make them look just more terrifying. Some of the armor pieces look just look really gruesome, like the breastplate that looks like a rib cage. Some of the helmets just they look really really gruesome and really awesome and I kind of want to be able to use them. <clears throat> so also a mistake I do want to fix in uh, my last video I was kind of complaining how this guy doesn't have a jump pack and then someone was nice enough to point out like uh, yeah duh he's, a, he's in Terminator armor he wouldn't have a jump pack anyway and <laughs> sorry I don't play 40k I forgot all about that rule um, I just when I look at the online forums they say yeah if you want to do a fluffy night lord's army just do a chaos lord with with a jump pack and some lightning claws and um 
I forgot. You can't do that if you have Terminator armor. So, oh well. I think this, is, this guy is just going to be the, the champion of my, um, of my Terminator unit with his twin bolter, not storm bolter. Storms for the good guys, twins for the bad guys. And um, I think he'll be really, really good. So maybe some unboxings and try to get some kit bashing done when we get to the end of the night. I will uh, do a little wrap up and show you all the progress that I made. So thanks for watching players, see you at the end of the video. Okay, so we're back and um, this is going to wrap up day two. I guess I didn't really get that far, I did unbox the Possessed, which uh, may or may not be up by the time I do this, but um, like I said, I want to save those parts for um, kid bashing into my regular attack squads, or my attack squads. I guess they, since they don't have tactical spots um, and yeah I guess we'll save that for tomorrow Sunday June 3rd right now uh, I'm just gonna show this guy since I'm gonna get a little bit more work done on him tonight before I leave but I want to um, wrap up this video by saying don't forget to keep sending your video responses all of that good stuff get it all in and um, uh, follow along with the project. Keep following it at home. Thank you for watching and for following my channel. And um, I want to point out a good friend of mine that I met here through YouTube who's got uh, her own business and um, is looking for some commission work. If you enjoy the Night Lords or if you enjoy anything that I'm painting, then um, her company, Simply Painted Miniatures, is really really awesome at uh, being able to recreate it and can get it to you for a discount in the month of June so check it out players I am going to uh, tell you how it all works if you like what you see here like this model which I have actually done a while ago but I'm planning to keep the color scheme for and uh, you just can't do it yourself or you don't have the time or um, you would just rather spend your time doing doing other stuff but you would love to have a Night Lord's Force squad maybe even or even a single single miniature this company simply painted miniatures can do anything from a single model to a whole army so if you just want one because you saw this this project and these videos and you're like yeah that might be fun then um, they can definitely help you out with that they do painting they do assembly and I'm going to put their email and Facebook links down here down below in the description and if you mention me Warboss Tay and these videos the June uh, Project Night Lords on your order form you will get the special War Boss Tay Players Promo Club with a K. You'll get into that. And um, for the month of June, the Players Promo Club discount is 10% off painting services on one unit of Chaos Space Marine Raptors. So, you know Raptors, you remember those guys. These crazy flying monstrous guys and even I like looking at these old paint jobs maybe I maybe I'll commission some Raptors <laughs> from this business because whew, boy mine sure do need some work and uh, these are the old models but yeesh, oh boy so that's for the month of June only the month of June you can be a part of the War Boss Tay Players Promo Club at Simply Painted Miniatures and um, you can get 10% off painting services on one unit of Chaos Space Marine Raptors. Just email them for more details and restrictions and all that good stuff. I'm going to put all the information down below in the box. And, um, you know, support. And I'm going to keep plugging them throughout the month of June because um, this is the only month you can get this discount on since we're doing Project Night Lords for, for me. And um, I want to get the word out as much as possible. Help a friend out here on YouTube, get as much traffic going over to them as possible. Hopefully one day they'll get a fully fledged out website. Until then, you can check them out on Facebook. They've got a lot of pictures of their work and um, you can email them at the, at, at the link below. So go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching this shameless little plug. Thanks for following the War Boss Tay painting challenge for the month of June project. Night Lords um, swooping in and uh, thanks for following me and really thanks for all your support thanks for writing comments thanks for um, you know cracking jokes correcting me when I'm wrong you know I'm, I, I don't know 
the things about 40k as much as fantasy. I'm really just uh, getting into the hobby on that side of it because I really like the models and the story and the fluff. So that translates into really fluffy army lists, really fluffy builds, and hopefully really fluffy games where my opponents won't just throw their hands up in the air and say, oh, this war boss Tay guy just takes the cheesiest, most lamest units. Uh, nah, I'd rather be known as a fun player who takes an army that has character and style and, you know, is different from all the other gray knights <clears throat> you see out there. So, thanks a lot for watching, players. Go ahead, check out Simply Painted Miniatures again, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Night Lords!